are you, Mr. Lee? It's been a while since I've seen you. Oof, my hair is poofy. Um, it's been a while since I've seen you, and I've got uh, some quick seven points I'm going to go through with you. None of them are life-changing, but they're all just kind of information you need to know. Hold on one second. Okay, so let's tell you what you need to know. It has been a busy couple of weeks here on Mount Summit. Um, there's a lot to talk about. Early travel. There are only five reasons. I've printed them before. They're in class Dojo, Schoology, and they've been sent to you before. The only five reasons for excused absences. One is religious, the other four are civil, and you have to have, or, and, and one is an illness. So you have to have proper documentation for any court duty, any illness, or any religious travel in order to be exempt from being in school because all exams are face-to-face, -face, as you know. Speaking of exams, finals will start on November 14th. November 14th, exams will start, all right? The schedules are gonna go out next week. So relax, no need to get excited. Schedules for final exams will go out next week. and. Students are ready. I mean, they're fresh and ready and the teachers have been preparing them. So don't worry. I know people like to get nervous around exams. Don't do that. Our climbers are independent and confident and ready to go. And I'm gonna prove that to you in the next few minutes. We had student council elections this week, or last week, excuse me, it was exciting. We now have primary officers, presidents all the way down to representatives and secondary officers, president all the way down to representatives photographers, treasurers, really cool stuff. We are now an affiliate of the National Student Council of America. So we are growing and we are expanding. Our scope is reaching across the world here at Summit. That's kind of what you climb for, right? So you can get a big view. Well, our students are getting that view right now. We just had the PIRLS test. That's P-I-R-L-S, not UAE, PIRLS. P-I-R-L-S stands for Progress in International Reading Literacy Study. I remembered. Um, that study studies comprehension, literacy, attitude towards reading, and it's a certain cohort, a certain group of students every five years. We had 100% participation from our grade five students, so that is fantastic. We like to participate in these studies because it tells us how we measure up against schools around the world. And if you remember the last time we took this test, we measured up very highly. Same with the TIMS, which is a math and science test. So we have a reading test and a math and science test, and our climbers are competing against the world very well. Which brings me to the MAP test, measure of academic progress. Most of you should know by now what the MAP test is. We talk it all the time. The results are in. They took it a couple of weeks ago, and we have the results back, and they are good. I know everyone is expecting to see this big learning loss, the pandemic, oh no, they're not learning anything. They did spend too much time on the internet, that's for sure. We know that. Please, off the social media for a while. Give yourselves a break, parents. Give the kids a break, too. But the pandemic did not send any of our students backwards. Yeah, maybe one or two. Maybe, uh, tall told, I think there's maybe 4 to 6% that saw any kind of a loss. The rest did not. Almost 70% of our grades, one through five, students are at or above grade level in reading. Think about that. Almost 70% of those kids are reading grade level or above. Almost 80% of those same kids are at, our grade, are at or above grade level in math. So in reading and in math, we are doing very well, all right? Some of the growth was slower in the older grades, but we do find that normal, okay? You know, when they get into middle and high school, they tend to, um, get more independent and sometimes not, they don't study as much. So we need to stay in our middle and high school students. But I will tell you that up to 90%, most of our students made progress last year, okay? Now that's not growth against students here in the UAE. That's not international growth. That's growth against students in the United States. That means that our students, 100% of which are second language learners are competing at grade level or above students who speak English natively. That is very cool. The bottom line is folks, that our climbers are starting each year higher and finishing each year higher and they're going up and up and up every year. Our college readiness is pretty high. We're in good shape. 
okay? Speaking of student progress, very soon, you're gonna get a communication from your climbers teachers regarding parent meetings, okay? So they're gonna set up virtual parent meetings with you, okay? Because we have over a thousand students, almost 1,100 students, 1,100 almost now, and trying to get everybody in socially distanced in one or two nights, just not possible. So we're starting soon, probably next week. Teachers are gonna contact you so that they can talk to you about your students' progress, talk about the MAP score, talk about how they're doing in their classes. Now, let's be honest, not every one of you needs to meet with teachers. Some of your students are doing just fine. They're confident, they're independent, they're creative, they're doing exactly what they need to do. You can still meet with your teachers, they're gonna offer that to you, um, but that's entirely up to you, okay? And then we do have some students, you know, who might need to have that little shove, the little nudge by having a parent uh, meeting with you. Next, masks. I, I really, you gotta keep them at hand all the time. I really don't wanna talk about this anymore, but we don't have a choice. Masks are not a choice. Please help your children understand that if you don't wear a mask, you run the risk of getting others sick and getting yourself sick, okay? I am alone in an office right now. There is nobody in here, so I can go without the mask. But this camera that I'm talking into is getting sick if I'm sick. That's the point. I'm a meter away, okay? And anybody who's a meter away is going to catch it. So please reinforce the children because when they come home, they're with you, and then your whole family gets sick. And we have teachers who have families. All of us have loved ones and relatives, and none of us want ourselves or them to get sick. If you just wear masks and sanitize, we can stop this, okay? Don't get me wrong, we're doing well in school here, very well, knock on wood, but let's please be careful, okay? Uh, last week was Vista Week, Summit Vista Week, where we took a chance to kind of get out of our uniforms, get into our fun clothes and look around and see everybody around us, get to know each other again, and it was a lot of fun. Thank you for participating, parents. I know. Sometimes we have special days, it's tough on you. You don't ever have to run out and buy costumes, okay? Whatever you got in the house, throw it on. That's more fun anyway, okay? So we like that idea. We may have another one later on in the year, we'll see, but we do have, you know, term two and term three are very, very busy. And the rest of this term very busy as well because we have finals week again, starting November 14th. And then we have um, uh, national day and we have commemoration day. There's a lot of things going on here. So nothing more this year, this term, but next term, we should have some more fun together. Um, we also had a visit from the al Qasimi Foundation out of uh, Russell Haima. They are a research organization. And they're doing a huge project on positive school environments and whether they affect the learning level of our students. So they came to visit. They visited two schools in the UAE because they had reputations for being happy, positive environments. One was in Dubai and the other, Summit International School. Can you see this? Summit International School. So we've got some reputation out there as being a happy school and thank you so much. That's, not, that's none of my doing. That is who you are and that is who your children are. And so we, I thank you so much for getting us that recognition. Um, we'll see what the study finds later on. Uh, but we know from the statistics I gave you and from the, the numbers that Ms. Semar and Mr. Jeff are crunching and your teachers, um, that our kids are all climbing, they're moving forward. This week, the week we just finished, and next week, our anti-bullying week, um, we had anti-bullying activities going in all the classrooms this week. Next week, we'll have some anti-bullying skits. And the point of doing anti-bullying, other than it's just a really good idea, is that we want our students, your children, to be confident, independent, and creative. A bully is not somebody who's confident or independent or creative. They need other people to build themselves up. And of course, we want our students to build themselves up. So that's what that's all about. That went fast, didn't it? That's all I have really to say. Wrap up. Final start on November 14th. Student councils, congratulations to all the winners and the teachers who helped us out. We did a Pearl's reading study. We'll see what those um, results look like. Map scores on the up. Things are looking good. Um, I think that's it. Parents will be contacted so that you can meet with your teachers. And of course, wear your masks and sanitize. Be careful in the evenings, be careful on the weekends. Please visit with people you know, people that are vaccinated, take care of each other, all right? And everything will be great. You guys have a great weekend. 
I will play out some music for you shortly. I know not everybody enjoys the music as much as I do. So here we go. Okay, the music's not playing. There we go. Okay. Thanks, everybody. You know where we're going, right? Say it in your house. Tell me, climbers, where are we going today? To the top. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.